happy Friday morning. I hope all of y'all are doing great with everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, there is a lot going on, isn't there? Um, I know I have it here somewhere. I'm looking for my palette to put my foundation on. Okay. <laughs> and I probably, no, I got the Tati Beauty thing. All right. Um, so we're going to do the Friday chit chat. I'm going to use some fairly new makeup, including the Samantha March and Ofra Cosmetics collab. I got this in yesterday. It looks like a little book on the side. Here's all the stuff that comes in it. It's got a lipstick and a lip gloss. There is the um, the highlighter. That's got the two highlighters that she likes. Star Inspired is what they're calling it. Um, then there's Chiclet. This is the blush duo. And then there is the bronzer. And each one she explained it has like a shimmery bronzer and a regular bronzer and a shimmery blush, regular blush. So that there's two shades basically in each one. And the eyeshadow palette, who oh, was almost broke, is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm. So let's just hop right in and start talking. All right. Um, Jason was at the Urgent Care Center in Arkansas yesterday. He has some kind of infection in his bladder. Um, he thought he had a, his gallbladder was, I mean, his appendix was about to burst and all kinds of things. So he was at the doctor's. Um, we're going to use the new high glass face primer by NYX. I tried to record this and fa full face of new makeup the other day. And I used this and I had a breakout and I just put it on my hands so I'm not sure if the breakout was from this. So, but I literally had like a breakout here, um, one over here and one down here that night or the next night, I can't remember. But the only thing that was different was this primer. The foundation wasn't different. Because I don't have any new foundation. But he um, has antibiotics. Um, I guess Saudi Arabia and Russia are having a argument over oil. <laughs> Jason works in the oil industry in the United States. His second job that was supposed to start in June is now canceled due to gas prices, basically, and the non-need for oil. Um, so pray that that gets better. Maybe with the government doing the bailout, buying $77 million worth of oil will help and he will get that job back. Um, so that, I don't know, we're kind of stressing right now. Um, the next thing I'm using is an older foundation. It's Urban Dream Cover Foundation because I was using the high glass thing. So I'm gonna use the Tati Beauty Blender to put it on. Um, so between the coronavirus and Russia and Saudi Arabia arguing, there's a lot of people without work. The only difference between Jason and them at this point is Jason is considered self-employed. So there is no unemployment. Basically is what it comes down to. And so, I mean, if he comes home and he can, he was a plumber till everything picks back up and gets normal again. But he could come home and end up being able to work from the yard for all I know. I don't know what's going on. His, him and his friends, I'm sure, have a plan. They're just not letting me in on it, so I'm kind of stressing. 
So the only new makeup I might be getting for a while will be the um, boxy charms and stuff. But I have a whole dresser drawer over here full, so. And drugstore. I'll probably go ahead and still get some drugstore stuff, which is fine. Drugstore is fine. Don't think it's not, because it is. In fact, I do believe I just used two drugstore products so far. <laughs> um, but prayers for people in the oil industry. Prayers for people in the oil industry in America. And prayers for people... Um, with this virus. Nikki Tutorial's mom has it. I'm hoping she'll be fine. But everybody, please... Just listen to your governments. Listen to your. Try to stay home if you can. And. Um, if you go out. Make sure to wash your hands constantly. Have some hand sanitizer with you if you can. Baby wipes. <laughs> Keep them in your purse. Because they could wash your hands, they could wash the carts, they could wash anything. And um, if you go to get takeout, I'm not sure how many companies are doing this right now. Um, if you're able to tip, because if they got the waitresses working the takeout counter or the whatever, I don't know if they're giving them regular pay or not, but... I used to be a waitress and we made two thirteen an hour. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. camo concealer. And tips was the main part of our money. And I'm not sure how these businesses that are usually dying in are doing it. If they're letting the waitresses come in and bag the orders or not. <coughs> So, um, it'd be nice if they are, if you could, I don't know how much they're paying them, but even when I do takeout, if I go into the restaurant to pick up the takeout, I, um, I tip them because they still have to bag it. So they're still doing something to me, just cause it's takeout doesn't mean you get away without having to, um. tip but that's because I was on the other side <laughs> the waitresses still have to take time from their customers in store usually it's not just unless it's a place that the um, hostess does it um, or managers do it but they have to go ahead and bag it up put it where someone can get it So, I mean, just a little tip from the other side. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of this Makeup Revolution translucent setting powder and put it underneath my eyes with a little brush. It's got this little thing on it, and it looks like this. It's got a mirror. So, we're going to use this Moda brush. And just kind of put a little bit of powder under the eyes to set it. What kind of videos do y'all want? And I think I'm going to post while everybody's on lockdown. I think I'm going to go ahead and post on Saturdays or possibly Sunday. Like tomorrow, I'll go ahead and put up um, the BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, we're going to use the Wet n Wild contour stick. Eric's been really hyper. I tried to go grocery shopping the other day. There was barely anything. Which don't stress if there's barely anything and if you're anything like me when you went grocery shopping before. Like during the winter. Well, it's kind of still cold in some places. Um, I would always get beans and rice just to have it because you never know. 
So you could always get a crock pot or a Instapot and make some beans and that'll be protein. I got a feeling we're all about to hit a huge problem because like Walmart had turkeys out and from what I saw somewhere, we may not have chicken for a while. So I don't know how true that is. I got powder in my eyes, I think. I don't know, it's just a mess. Everything's a mess. This little sponge is good for when you're crying also. Yeah, I did get some of the powder in my eye. That eye is so red right now. Woo-wee. All right. I'll fix this one over here because... All right, we're gonna go ahead and use the Makeup Revolution setting powder. Instead of letting it fluff everywhere in my face, I'll just tip it over a couple times. All right, we're gonna use our little Do Care brush here. And just kind of set this. I do like how dewy it looks, but Set this powder. Um, we are going to go into brows, which I have a Makeup Revolution brow pencil. It looks like this. It's one of those flat ones. And then it's got this bully on this end. Let's go ahead and do the brows real quick. So I can quit putting powder in my face till this eye stops. My grandma works at Kroger's around here and she's still going to work every day. And uh, my neighbor is elderly and she works at Walmart and she's still going to work every day. Her theory is if it's her time, it's her time. Also, look at your local areas. We have an HEB grocery store in Texas that right now is hiring people to work at their warehouses for like a pretty decent amount of money and from what I understand Walmarts are hiring cash incentives which is nice because people are losing their jobs and if you're not too proud and you want to work during this time there you go. I mean, it may not be a permanent job, but it'll be there until everything calms down and you can get back to your regular job. So, I mean, do with that information what you will. I wish I could work. I'd go. But I got Eric. <laughs> and I have to be home with him. Okay, now we're going into the bronzer. This is called Bronze Duo in River. I'm gonna use the matte side first. You're not supposed to use it as a contour bronzers, but I kind of like it. Mm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try to deepen that bronze up right there. Yeah, Eric, yesterday, I don't know what he did, not yesterday, but the day before, which would have been Wednesday. But yesterday morning, he woke up and he has, like, bruises that big around on his ankle, the top of his foot, and his leg. And there's a little white spot in the one on his leg. So, I'm thinking he ran into something or dropped something on his foot. But he don't feel pain the way the rest of us, the rest of us. Do, so I have no idea when it happened which let me tell you as a parent is a very very wonderful feeling not knowing that your child got hurt okay we're gonna use a fluffy bronzer brush and just kind of buff that into the skin and kind of fluff it in and down and around. I think I'll go into both the shiny and the regular and just kind of sorry about that someone called my phone I didn't go any further they didn't answer when I said hello okay the next thing we're gonna do is go into Samantha's blush duo in chiclet I'm gonna try just the matte shade first I love that color. Of course, it looks darker over here than it does over here. I think it's just the way the light. Nope. It really does. There, now they match. Let's go ahead and take this powder. And just kind of blend it. I'm just kind of tap buff, tap buff, tap buff on it. Like I usually do when I'm, you know how I am, I love blush, but I don't like it to be like too dark. All right, and now the highlighter. I think I want to go into this part right there, the goldish. Ooh. That is beautiful. I'm going to try to buff it. A little so it's not just a line and pull it down into the blush area I really like this Alright, let's go ahead and use this and just kind of buff that into the skin. This is a clean powdery brush. Alright, and now we're going to use this NYX High Glass Finishing Powder. We're just going to put a light dusting of it all over the face. See, this is how I'm doing it. So literally a light dusting. I'm just kind of tapping it in and then putting it on the face. All right, take my Ofra things, put them over here so they're nice and safe. The high glass, the foundations, get everything out of the way. All right, now we're going to take the um, e.l.f. Hyaluronic Hydrating Coconut Mist. Hydrate skin, refreshes makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E.
just so all those powder products can sit. Use my little rainbow Dollar Tree fan. I didn't get this side of the face. And the eyes are going to be kind of odd because this palette has lots of bright colors. But on the upside, nobody's going anywhere. It could be as crazy as it wants and I could mess up if I want or don't want, but I just happen to. Here's the inside of the palette. All right. We're going to go into... Might do something a little different and just go straight for the crease shade first and then worry about, I don't know, I'm just trying to think on my feet here. Let's go into the gray shade, it's called Zero Gravity. Use that as the transition. Mm. All right, we got that down. The other day I tried to go into the green shade when I started this video and then it just got a big mess and then phone kept ringing and anyways I'm not going into the green shade I am going to go into let's just do it let's go into this maroon shade <laughs> lucid dream and start it on the outer corner this is by Dominique Cosmetics. I think I already said that earlier. Um, what have y'all been doing during this time? If you're stuck at home, if you're having to work, if you're a healthcare worker, God bless you. If you're a grocery store worker, God bless you as well. And please keep you safe. Um... If your kids are at home, like if you have kids and you're at home, if you're a kid, one of you is a senior this year and I am, my heart is broke for you and I'm so sorry. I hope and pray you get to go back to school and get your graduation and your prom, even if they have to push it back a little bit. I pray. I am praying for you. Because that is a big time. And I love how you're doing it. How you're saying at least your family's safe and healthy. How is the coronavirus, COVID-19, how is it affecting all of you? I would like to know. Me, I'm always home anyways. It affects me because I'm not sure if I'll be able to get Eric's crackers. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get his milk that he drinks. You know what I mean? It's like, it's hard, but there's some people that it's affecting a lot worse. And it's about to affect me because Jason's basically going to be unemployed as of the end of May for however long. So that'll affect me. So if you wanna share and get people to come and start watching, maybe we could get up to where I actually make at least a hundred dollars every couple of months out of this. It'd be nice. Just kind of blending that in. I'm 
trying to think if I want to do the cut crease. I think I do. Make this pop a little bit and give it a little more dimension. So we're going to use, once again, the Makeup Revolution cut crease. All right, there's that. We're just gonna go ahead and put the shadow down. And the shadow I wanna put is, if you look at these colors. That's kind of light. That's very pink, but we already got pink. That's kind of light. That's kind of light. That other one is really, really dark. It's more blackish, but we might have to go with that. To kind of go with the colors on the face already. This is so weird. I can't believe I'm just sitting here looking at my hand. Um, let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna go into Black Matter. And it doesn't want to go down as dark as it swatches, so. Let's see on the finger. It looks a lot prettier in the palette than it does on your eyes, that's for sure. But it does. It does show up, that's for sure. Let's take an inner corner thing and go into Eternal Light. Let me add a little bit more sparkle to this with the eternal light. Welcome to my world. That does look okay. It doesn't look great, but it looks okay. So let's go in on the other eye. It's more of the color wasn't as sparkly as I thought, and when I put it on over the cut crease thing, it um, kind of went to gray. Let's see if I put it on with my finger only, if it has a little bit more sparkle to it. No, it turns gray automatically still.
that part looks really dark. Let's go ahead and take this brush and see if we could fan it out a little bit. It looks a lot darker than this side did. Let's go ahead on the eternal light and see if that fixes it a little to match the other side. It does, but it also added a lot more shimmer. So let's see if, okay. All right, we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna go into the purple shade. It's called Ast Astrid Lust. And we are going to buff it onto the edge right there. And across into the crease to kind of blend it out. And to kind of give it like a multi-dimensional darker look there. Basically and essentially turning that pink shade into our crease shade, our um, transition shade. All right, we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna dip it, this blending brush, we're gonna dip it into that pink. And we're gonna take this brush, we're gonna go into the purple again and deepen that crease up with that purple shade. and pull it along the bottom. All right, and then I wanna take this brush by Morphe and kinda, oh, uh, that would be my mom, I'll get it in a minute. All right, let's grab this concealer. And she will probably be calling this phone in a minute. This didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Okay. Maybe it did. Let's take some powder and try to fix that brightness right there. I need to find like a really precise blending brush. That I can, there we go, maybe that'll work. I'm trying to blend that right there. There, that's better. All right, we're gonna quit messing with it. Let's go ahead and grab our highlighter. Now I gotta find it again. The star inspired, and we're gonna grab the gold shade again. We're gonna put it right there in that upper corner. 
her brow bone highlight. Then we're gonna take it and put just a little on the inner corner. All right, and then I want to take this. Oh, I think I just pulled my eyelash out. Ooh. Probably not a good idea to put mascara on when your eye starts watering. Okay, let's do the lipstick. We're gonna use this. It's in the shade Story. It's a beautiful nude shade. I love the Ofra formula. There we go. And then the this is in Millie. It's named after her grandmother. Uh, sorry, Tati. Trying to get some of that lipstick off of it before I put it back in there. I don't want to turn it colors. Oh, well, it's not going to turn colors, I don't think, because I got most of it off. It gives it a nice little sparkle. I quit watering, so we're going to go ahead and go in with the You Can Be mascara. I've had it for a while and never used it. The wand is odd looking. But, wow. Oh, are y'all seeing this? Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at those lashes. That is stunning. Look at how big my lashes are. And that'll be my mom again. Well, let me go answer before she freaks out. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one, which is tomorrow. Bye.